Arden Pachaputin and Julius David awarded Nobel Prize in Medicine this year, 2021. Arden Pataputin, a professor at Scripps Research, California, is credited for finding cellular mechanism and the underlying gene that translates a mechanical force on our skin into an electric nerve signal. He identified piezoproteins, which are force-activated ion channels. David Julius, a professor of University of California, used capsaicin, the molecule that makes chili pepper spicy by stimulating a false sensation of heat. The dorsal root ganglion neurons of mammals were known to express a heat sensitive ion channel that could be activated by capsaicin. The research group of David Julius therefore created a cDNA library of genes expressed in dorsal root ganglion neurons. Express the clones in HEC293 cells. HEC293 cells are very important for any kind of targeted engineering. And look for cells that respond to capsaicin with calcium influx. which HEC293 normally not do. After several rounds of screening and dividing the library, a single clone encoding the TRPV1 channel was finally identified in 1997. It was the first TRPV channel to be identified. Julius was awarded Nobel Prize 2021 in physiology or medicine for his discovery. Pataputin and his collaborators first identified a cell line that gave off a measurable electrical signal when individual cells were poked with a micro pivot. It was assumed that the receptor activated by mechanical force is an ion channel and in a next step, 72 candidate genes encoding possible receptors were identified. These genes were inactivated one by one to discover the gene responsible for mechanosensitivity in the started cells. After an arduous research, Petaputin and his co-workers succeeded in identifying a single gene whose silencing rendered the cells insensitive to poking with the micropipet. A new and entirely unknown mechanosensitive ion channel had been discovered and was given the name piezo-1 after the Greek word for pressure, piezo meaning pressure. Through its similarity to piezo-1, a second gene was discovered and named piezo-2. Sensory neurons were found to express high levels of piezo-2 and further studies firmly established that piezo-1 and piezo-2 are ion channels that are directly activated by the exertion of pressure on cell membrane. Now what are piezoproteins? Piezoproteins constitute a family of excitatory ion channels directly gated by mechanical forces. These ion channels are involved in cell mechanotransduction, the conversion of mechanical forces into biological signals. This piezo-1 and piezo-2 in the humans are located to chromosomes 16 and 18. On the other hand, TRPV1 is a non-selective cation channel. When it is activated by capsaicin, sodium and calcium ions flowing through TRPV1 into the cell to depolarize non susceptible neurons leading to action potential firing and finally the sensation of spiciness. Let us now answer step by step what is ion channel, what is depolarization, what is action potential firing, 
how electrical signals are generated in neurons and how it is transmitted. This separation of any two ions creates a potential difference. Outside the cell membrane, sodium ion red balls are larger in number whereas inside the cell membrane it is quite small in number. There are sodium ion leakage channels, red channels, through which sodium ion from outside diffuses into the cell. On the other hand, potassium ions indicated by watch cubes, these white cubes are potassium ions, are in large concentration inside the cell than the outside. So, the diffuses outside the cell. Through potassium ion leakage channels, green channels. As the number of potassium ion leakage channels are greater than that of sodium ion channel, more positive ions go outside leaving inside a lack of positive ions giving rise to a negative potential of minus 70 millivolt inside the cell called resting potential of the cell. Sodium ion and potassium ion channels only allow sodium ion and potassium ion respectively through them. Neither they allow chloride ion or proteins. Apart from leak channels, there are voltage gated sodium and potassium channels open at threshold potential of minus 55 millivolt and plus 30 millivolt respectively. There are mechanical gated ion channels which open only at changes in pressure or mechanical strains. When the ions move into the cell or goes outside the cell, the resting potential of the cell changes. If it is small, it is called graded potential. This graded potential may be positive, that is increased due to influx of sodium ion or may decrease, that is negative, due to outflux of potassium ions. This causes due to signals coming at dendrites or synapse. This graded potential depends on the net amount of stimuli received at dendrites or synapses. As the net resting potential increases from minus 70 millivolt, sodium and potassium pumps open to restore the resting membrane potential again to minus 70 millivolt. Now what is sodium and potassium pumps? This is adenosine triphosphate. There are three phosphates are there. From this Adenosine triphosphate, this is ATP. The cones are indicated as phosphate. There are three phosphate, triphosphate. This adenosine triphosphate supplies the energy of the pump. Now, what is this pump? Let us see the animation. In our houses, there are pumps which require electrical power to lift water to the water tank. Inside the cell, there are tiny pumps called sodium potassium pump which receives energy from ATP. A phosphate, this phosphate attached to the pump, the protein, which is normally open inside. Let us stop the animation. These pumps are normally open inside. As soon as this phosphate attached to this protein, it opens outside. And three sodium ions go outside from their binding site, whereas two potassium ions come inside into their two binding sites in one cycle. Note that they are moving against the concentration gradient of sodium and potassium. So energy is required which is coined from ATP. So it is a pump. 
these two sodium uh, these two potassium ions comes inside the cell and it changes the potential inside the cell accordingly there are another kind of channel voltage gated channel this is sodium voltage gated channel and this is potassium voltage gated channel sodium voltage gated channel opens at minus 55 millivolt and potassium gated channel voltage gated channel open at 30 millivolt when an external stimulus come more sodium ions come inside the cell increases the potential inside the cell to minus 55 millivolt and sodium gated channel opens leading to depolarization of the cell and a huge amount of sodium ion rushes inside and voltage inside the cell increases to 30 millivolt as soon as 30 millivolt is reached the potassium gated channel open and potassium goes outside causing a repolarization of the cell and forcing cell to go to undershoot cell is again become ready to create another action potential let us see an animation this is PHET simulation the link of this simulation is given in the description this is the intracellular space this is extracellular space this is the cell membrane these are the potassium channels potassium is going out these are the sodium leakage channel red sodium balls come inside which is described in my first portion of this lecture but apart from these sodium potassium leakage channels there are voltage gated channels this is sodium voltage gated channel as soon as stimulate we stimulate the neuron this is the stimulus comes then this again let us stimulate as soon as stimulus comes a rush of sodium ion comes in, inside the cell and potassium ion then goes outside let us see in close motion and with slow motion stimulate the urine look this is the stimulus as soon as stimulus comes sodium rushes inside the cell and potassium as soon as potassium channel opens at 30 millivolt goes outside let us see again look at the sodium gated channel first sodium rushes inside the cell as a result minus 55 mole 55 millivolt rises into 30 millivolt opens potassium channel potassium goes outside and cell is forced to go to undershoot this is depolarization and this is repolarization look at the animation sodium rushes inside potassium rushes outside as sodium rushes inside the voltage increases from minus 55 millivolt to 30 millivolt and this channel opens up and potassium rushes out this is 
depolarization this causes depolarization this is causes repolarization depolarization repolarization As soon as sodium ion comes inside the cell, this sodium flux, these positive ions repel each other and they go to this next sodium gated channel. They are not going in this side because there are repolarization is occurring here. So ions are going in this direction. So positive ions is flowing in this direction that is the signal is flowing in this direction similarly due to outflux of the potassium ion these becomes negative and these also become negative thus the positive ions as soon as it goes in this direction the cell Inside this cell, the negative ions are restored and minus 70 millivolt is restored in this direction. So, this action potential moves in this way. Similar thing is happening in this cell membrane also, which I will show in the next animation, which is occurring very rapidly. This is the neuron cell, this is the membrane and this is the extra extracellular region, this is intracellular region. Look, outside the cell, negative ions are moving in this way and inside the cell, positive ions are moving in this way. Let us stop the animation and look. Initially, negative ions are there and so minus 70 millivolt is inside the cell. As soon as signal comes, look, negative ions are created here due to the outflux of the potassium ion and whereas due to the influx of the sodium ions positive ions are created here as time goes this negative ions are shifted to this position and this positive ions are shifted to this position so the signal is proceeding in this direction very rapidly. Again see the initial position of the positive ions inside the cell and after a while the positive ion is shifted to this position And then it is shifted to this position. So po positive ions are shifted from this position to this position and then this position to this position. So positive ions are going in this direction and similarly negative ions are going in this direction outside the cell. Let us see the animation again. And this is going on very rapidly. Although it is going on rapidly, but this process is a bit slower in comparison to length of the nerve from the point of stimulus appearing and brain.
so myelin sheets are there in nerve through which signal goes in more faster way i am showing the myelin sheet and this nerve this is the nerve cell this is the axon i will show this in the next slide Let us see how membrane potential changes with time, how action potential proceeds. Let us stimulate the neuron. The action potential is created and the cell is ready again to receive another action potential, another signal, so stimulate the neuron again. Look another action potential is created so action potential is proceeding in this manner there is a gap between two myelin sheets i am not going in details how signal accelerates through myelin sheet and i am not going in details of graded potential and graded channels through which stimulus is received from dendrites or synapse. The basics of action potential, generation and its propagation through cell and action of pump is discussed for those who are interested. TRPV has a great role in treatment of chronic pain. Whereas PISO2 was shown to play a key role in the critically important sensing of body position and motion, known as proprioception. PISO1 and 2 channels have been shown to regulate additional important physiological processes, including blood pressure, respiration, and even urinary bladder control. The groundbreaking discoveries of the TRPV1, TRPM8 and PISO channels by this year, Nobel Prize laureates have allowed us to understand how heat, cold and mechanical force can initiate the nerve impulses that allow us to perceive and adapt to the world around us. The TRP channels are central for our ability to perceive temperature. The PISO2 channel endows us with the sense of touch and the ability to feel the position and the movement of our body parts. TRP and piezo channels also contribute to numerous additional physiological functions that depend on sensing temperature or mechanical stimuli. Intensive ongoing research originating from this year's Nobel Prize awarded discoveries focuses on elucidating their functions in a variety of physiological processes. This knowledge is being used to develop treatments for a wide range of disease conditions.